Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here with the next video. Today is a series that I used to do and I'm bringing it back a little bit. Um, it's been a while. This is the base destruction series and it's something where I go through a base focusing on just one base usually. Um, we look at several attacks on it, ones that d failed and ones that ended up working. Well, I guess just one that ended up working and how it got the three stars. Breaking a base down talking about how it's set up, what's the best strategy, what were these attackers thinking, and why did some attacks work and not others. So having said that, today's a Town Hall 10 base, but a lot of people have told me in the past that even if they're not the Town Hall level uh, of the base destruction videos, they still find them helpful because they can apply these uh, ideas to other Town Hall levels. So this is, a, I think, a very helpful video for a lot of different uh, people. And this one is... It fits in nicely with some of the current meta, especially. So let's go ahead and get into it. Um, taking a look at this Town Hall 10 base right here, um, right away, a few things should pop out to you. Um, and one thing that I always notice, because I have an eye for this thing, is Inferno Towers and how far they are from walls. Notice that the core of the base, both Infernos are within one tile, meaning a bowler inside the core can target these Infernos. And... That matters because if you send the wall wrecker down here, it can go through relatively easily if there's some tanking, and it can get to the core, deploy rage heal, you can get probably the queen, she'll probably get close enough, plus two inferno towers um, from a kill squad in, uh, entry of that angle. So right away, um, that should scream frozen witch, possibly. That should, because you use that same uh, bowler bomb, as I like to call it, technique with the wall wrecker that should also scream hogs because oftentimes you use the wall wrecker with bowlers rage heal in the kill squad of your hog attack and um the only problem is this base the rest of it just doesn't really call for those strategies as much i would think frozen witch might be the better of the two the problem with hogging is you might not get the king if he's far enough away and on the back end you do have um well eventually we'll find out there's a tesla farm back here and there is um, two bomb towers, wizard tower. Not the easiest back end, but a kill squad will get two expos. The, the um, angle of entry is a little bit awkward. You typically want to go through a very solid, compact part of the base. Um, this is very spread out along the outside. So a, a, hog, uh, a kill squad on a hog attack will likely have to not get that much as it goes through. And even though the middle of the base will be carved out, there will be a lot around the outside. So that's something to think about. Frozen Witch, I would say, yeah, I think that might have worked on this base. Um, there's not much splash on the flanks here. So I think that if everything was able to be, uh, you know, if you get the wall record to the middle, which I think is very doable, uh, this could be uh, a, a very good attack for the base. But that's not what was used by the first attacker. And both attackers did a similar type of attack, but there's a, a difference that's uh, important to note. The first attacker did this. They basically did a queen charge, um, started her like down here at 6 o'clock. Then she went to one side or the other. In this case, it was to the right, I think. And then she came in uh, with, they came in with the, um, I think the stone slammer. Uh, wall record could have worked as well. We'll talk about that. Um, Basically charged one side, used the king on the other, and sent miners through the rest. Reason I don't like miners on this base. We talk about narrow pathing. Um, looking at it, like if you have basically it funneled at 6 o'clock and a funnel over at uh, 9 o'clock, the pathing's kind of weird. You're going to go in, you're going to get that inferno, get the core, assuming everything does that. But then right here, this is what you don't want, where they... They have stuff on both sides. They have bomb towers, wizard towers. Uh, there will be a Tesla farm up here. The heroes all raining in on them. And the miners are kind of grouped up like right in this compartment. So you want to go through a base that's very uniform. This base has a lot of gaps in it. The miner pathing is unpredictable. It takes too long. And um, it's just not ideal for miners. So enough talk. Uh, let me just show this attack. What are we? Four and a half minutes into this video. Got to get some replay is going um but i hope the dialogue is helpful or the monologue rather uh is helpful as well um all right here's the first attack on the base uh, like i said using the uh the queen charge here drops the queen down and keep in mind guys don't waste a funnel on these symmetrical bases um she, 
it doesn't matter which way she goes usually because you just do it uh, how you would uh, as a mirror if she goes the way you weren't expecting. The only exception if there's an air defense, I guess kind of like these, but not really. If the air defense was here, then you got to worry about putting the healers in a certain location so they won't get shot down. But if there's no worry with the healers, you can drop the queen right in the middle and not waste any funnel troops. Keep that in mind. All right, here's the rage. Um, and then the, it does use the wall wrecker. So excuse me, the wall wrecker is used in this case. And I think it's the better choice. There's an air defense right there. Um, the wall wrecker is going to do a better job. It's going to get farther. And it's okay that it's not actively going for defenses. Um, it's actually going to go farther than the stone slammer might have and uh, gonna tank a little bit as well. So the queen can take out the defenses on her own. We saw the air defense, uh, I think, get one healer there. So I guess that kind of countered to my point. Maybe they should have uh, tried to keep the healers off to one side so they wouldn't get shot. Anyway, um, one of the problems with queen charging a base with a uh, ice golem is that the ice golem will freeze the queen. Actually, uh, right here, I forget what's in the CC, we'll see. Um, but the king getting that stuff, miners coming in, and we'll see what happens, as I said, with the miners here. Um, in the wall wrecker, it looks like, what is in that wall wrecker? I think Valks. The Valks just got destroyed, it looks like, by that ice golem. Just took them forever to get through it. Um, maybe loons would have been the better choice there. But, you know, it's a fresh hit. I, I won't, you know, hold that against the attacker here. Um, so the miners going through, everything's fine. King, you know, doesn't get terribly far because of that Tesla farm. But uh, you'll see here, the miners will continue to go through. There's quite a bit of HP. Um, freeze was, you know, you can freeze on a miner attack, but really, I don't think it makes much of a difference. The miners are either going to get it or they're not. Um, so right here, they're doing with a lot of hit point buildings. Um, they go up to the heroes here. The queen's still doing okay, has her ability. Um, but we'll see there's just too many hit points. And uh, even with the heals, which he does have quite a few of, there's not going to be enough for that back end. Um, right here, the miners are start going to get start getting uh, just destroyed by these wizard towers, bomb towers. You can heal, but uh, the miners have to move through quickly. It's all about time. Um, if they're if they're in the base for too long, they will die. It does not matter. So in this case, there was just too many hit points. The pathing was too weird. Um, doesn't work out. And um, Queen's just going to go around the outside for the rest of the attack. No point showing that. So now we know where the traps are. We know what the CC is. How is this base 3 starred? We'll talk a little bit more before we show the attack. But you can see it was dragons, but not the dragons we've seen. It's more of a surgical type dragon. I mean, it has a queen charge in it. Surgical might not be the best word for it. Um, not like surgical hogs. The dragons are still all together. But a little bit different here. Also, uh, the... CC right there. I don't know if there was a siege machine used. I'm not sure what's going on there. But um, the idea is for the same queen charge, which it, it roughly was, um, it's better to use dragons for what was remaining. The queen charge got good value. Don't get me wrong. There's lots of good defenses. It was worth doing that charge over, and that's what the attacker here realizes. But the difference is Using dragons is a little better. We don't have the single infernos. We really don't have many air defenses in the key locations. Um, they're really just kind of on these corners that can get taken out, and you'll see how they do. So really the dragons on this back end, which is so hostile to miners with all the, uh, first the hit points in the core, then the hit points in splash D on the back end, not a problem for dragons. The dragons will handle that just fine. Bomb towers, wizard towers, even archer towers aren't that bad on dragons. We know the queen will actually help by pulling them in, which is better. The miners don't you don't necessarily want them to get pulled by heroes. Dragons, you do. You want them to you know get pushed deeper into the base. They're tanky. You just want them moving through the base. The, the miners, it's a little they're a little more delicate. Have to keep them a little more evenly spread out. Um, so we'll show the replay. Might as well just do that now and talk through it, because um, I'm not going to be able to. Uh, Give you all the details unless it's up in front in the screen here so here we go uh let's see archers on the army camp uh but same thing with the queen i i think he had a suspicion the queen might go to the right here but um those decorations actually kind of got in her way a little bit she kind of moved out in a weird way um, so i believe she will end up going uh left this time yeah i think so um she does go left so it's basically, it's okay, like I said, just use the same thing, but on the opposite side of the base, on these symmetrical bases. Um, so the queen is going to go about her business here, drops the rage. 
and has wall breakers this time and you're wondering why not use the wall wrecker well he doesn't want to waste his cc in the wall wrecker i guess saw what happened to those valks they really got no value and it's really not that hard of a wall break so just goes ahead and uses the wall break uh they get the benefit of the rage and everything and that's something we don't see very often especially when it's set up like that for a, a wall wrecker um and i would say use the wall wrecker most of the time but in this case it works out okay um, so Queen's going to shoot that down, she'll engage that Ice Golem, questionable rage, I, you know, moves her forward, I guess, is what it is. Um, it has the jump spell as well for her. I guess that was the difference here. Uh, the Wall Wrecker would have gotten that. Um, so it, it is a little questionable, I'd say, as to not using the Wall Wrecker, but I guess he felt the Stone Slammer would be more valuable. So the queen steps up, just great value from this queen charge. It's a good base to queen charge when it's spread out like this. Um, when you have those multi-infernos, that's kind of what you want to look for, is um, just a relatively spread out, almost boxy type base with these uh, big square compartments. Those are best for the queen charges. Um, and also got to make sure the air defenses won't pick off your healers. That's a big way this thing fails. Um, so anyway, everything moving through uses the king on the other side, but you'll see the difference is these dragons are going to do a lot better than the miners would in roughly the same pathing. And they don't even have to actually go into the core, really, because the queen does that. So it's kind of weird how that works out. Um, the stone slammer does some nice tanking there. It will explode uh, with some more balloons, I believe, but there's enough dragons to lock onto the queen, take her out, and this thing just kind of keeps going. So I guess the moral of the story here, as we typically do it towards the end of these videos, is that miners and dragons are similar. They, they don't target defenses. Um, they Pathing is a lot of it. How are they going to path through a base? And there's a place for miners. There's a place for dragons. They're very different. I mean, one's an air troop, one's a ground troop. But they are similar in how you use them, what you look for. And in this case, there was a slight difference, but it definitely pointed towards dragons to be used instead of the, uh, the miners here. So... Um, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed a nice swag freeze at the end. I think he just holds on to it actually. So that'll do it. I will see you guys. Actually, he did drop it right there. I saw it coming down. It just it never really expanded because it was at the end of the attack. Oh, well, um, can't get that freeze back. I'll see you guys later. Bisectatron out.